Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, I'm looking to do That's why I'm honest in my life with you I won't please you anywhere I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? this channel we get into all things beauty and synthetic wig reviews and so if you're interested in learning more about this particular wig the name the price all the pros and cons and keep on watching so this is the outre melted hairline lace front wig in the style harper i have the shade drff2 cherry red and this is not a new wig but this is a wig i wanted to try in particular because i just love how bouncy the curls are i love trying outre hair that's in the shade red because it looks it hit every time it hit every time. So getting this unit from this collection by Outre in this color was a no-brainer because I just knew it was gonna look good. So let's get into some pros and cons of this wig. I don't have a lot of cons for this wig. I feel like this wig is a pretty decent unit and it's really simple to install and I feel, I guess my only con is that it didn't come with any baby hairs and it wasn't too much of a con because I got to customize the baby hairs to look how I want it, how thick, how thin. You know, I did do a little something, something just saying i felt like it was a con because typically wigs these days synthetic wigs that is already come with some uh, baby hairs pre-plucked or pre-cut and so i felt like dang why not this one and i know that this is not a new unit this one maybe came out about a year ago maybe it came out during a time where it, they weren't as innovative with the wigs i don't know it does shed just a little bit um it sheds in some places that i hadn't you know cut lace or cut in general um, I got shedding in like typical places like after I brushed through the hairline because I cut the lace or near the ear tabs because I had to cut a little bit of lace so that it could frame my ear. So it did, I did experience some shedding other than those places mentioned that I cut, but also it has just a little bit of tangling upon me initially, putting it onto my head. Um, so I felt like, mm, I, it scares me a bit. I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to use my silicone spray to increase the longevity of this wig. 
Um, but other than that, that's fine. Another con actually is that this wig definitely is not big head friendly. I'm sure if you've seen any reviews on this wig before, other influencers and creators will probably say the same thing. It does come with an elastic band. So I put the elastic band on and really and truly because it's snug, because it's not big head friendly, I feel as though I could have definitely wore this wig glueless, um, but I like that melt look, so I went ahead and just installed it how I would a normal uh, human hair wig that is. So, you know, I, I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it. It was like really snug. I was like, I, I feel like I'm gonna get a headache wearing this wig. So, good thing I'll only be in this unit for another couple of hours, but this wig definitely is like, snug but i guess you know there's a catch 22 to it that if it's snug then maybe you could wear it clueless so that is it for my cons let's move it to the pro so a pro obviously is this hair color i love everything about it like i said um at the outre melted hairline whenever they come out with a unit in a red color whether it be red velvet or this cherry red it hit every time like they look really good they do an excellent job with you know capturing like just realistic colors within the wig itself. This is a dark root, so it does start with like a, you know, ombre effect with dark, you know, roots to make it look realistic and then color elsewhere. It also has a little bit of like a lighter red and the bang area, but, you know, further just giving it that detail. I like how it's pre-curled. It looks like you use like a big barrel curling iron to achieve this. And I like how it's not too tight and when you brush it out, you don't lose the, the curls to it for the most part. It bounces right back in place. It has an elasticity. And then also the length of it, I will feel like the length is not too obnoxious. It comes right above my chest and it's, it's wigging. It's doing what it needs to do. A major pro, you all, is that the hairline on this was perfect. Like it looks so good no plucking was required i don't typically do a lot of plucking when i initially install my wigs anyway but occasionally i'll have a wig or two that i'm like oh no you need to be rescued immediately but this is one of those wigs where i was in awe like the way that this hairline already came pre-plugged i was just shook because that's better than anything i could do probably so i was like uh like i'm gonna i'm this is definitely gonna be on tiktok but Y'all, this hairline, it's beautiful. I love how this wig is manufactured and I wish that all synthetic wig companies could take a note from this hairline, from this particular unit. Honestly, like I've tried another wig from this collection and the, the hairlines is once again, never misses, always hits. That's it for the pros and cons. I'm just gonna talk about some facts that are listed in the hair stock card. So the stock card, now I said that there was no baby hairs, but it says that the baby hairs were included. I ain't see them. I see them, y'all saw like I saw that they were very faint, but they were not as you know as explicit as pictured on the stock card. For me personally, don't know if anybody else has this experience with this wig, but for me personally, it's not. She's not showing. What else did it say? Pre-attached wire elastic band for secure fit, natural baby hairs, and redesigned comfort for ear contour. I opened the stock card for the first time and saw that like one of the styles that the model had was like it tucked behind her ear a bit to create that like that bang. So I just did it like I just styled my hair like that really quickly and I like it even more. I almost want to try this unit in some other colors. I purchased this wig from HairToBeauty.com. I unfortunately my payment history isn't loading, so I cannot reference how much I purchased the unit for, but everything will be linked down below. Um, and that is pretty much it for today's review. So if you all enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more content like this or beauty content in general. Keep up with your girl on socials, TikTok and Instagram, which will be listed above on the screen. Um, and once again, thank you all so much for watching. I love you, stay beautiful, and stay safe.